Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. It's a very exciting day here at Hofstra University for the Department of Athletics, the University, and our men's basketball program. Before we begin today's press conference, just a few housekeeping items. There will be three speakers, President of University, Stuart Rabinowitz, Vice President and Director of Athletics, Jeffrey Hathaway, and our new men's basketball coach will allow Mr. Hathaway to introduce. Uh, we'll believe we'll speak, and then after, that, after the press conference is over, we'll have any one-on-ones, please find me or a member of my office and we'll be happy to help with any interview requests. To begin, I'd like to introduce the President of the University, Hofstra President Stuart Rabinowitz. Thank you. It's great to see so many alums and players and former players in attendance today. Um, it's been a difficult year in men's basketball program but there were many, many years before it, which were years of great success and pride, and there will be many, many years after it with great success and great pride. Hofstra remains absolutely committed to having a first-rate, nationally competitive athletic program, uh, especially in men's basketball, and we are absolutely thrilled that we were able to get the coach, uh, and when I say we, I mean Jeff Hathaway and I, we were able to get the coach who we thought would be perfect for this kind of position. And, and I have to first thank Jeff Hathaway. Um, you know, this search for uh, a new basketball coach was conducted the way it should be. Jeff, uh, Jeff and I had long discussions about what kind of a person we needed to take Hofstra basketball to the next level. Uh, Jeff knows more about college basketball and knows more people in college basketball. Uh, than anybody I've ever met or known. And uh, he came up with a very short list of uh, people who would fit what we thought we needed. Uh, and outstanding on that list was Joe Mahalik. And um, uh, lo and behold, uh, Jeff uh, cajoled him, persuaded him, um, and, and we got our guy. And I think Joe, Ma I, I won't go through all the details about Joe. Jeff, I'll leave that to Jeff. but. Uh, Joe Mahalik is, is a, a winner. He's got a record of being a winner. He's a great recruiter. He recruits good players, good students. Um, and he's going to stay here a while so we get some continuity in the program. And uh, he starts off with a core of some players, our current players, who are really good players and um, who are excited to see him here and who are uh, going to help him take a leadership position with the new classes coming in uh, and bring pride to Hofstra men's basketball. So um, it's a great day. I welcome his family here. And, uh, and now let me turn it to Jeff Hathaway, the best athletic director in the country. Thank you, President Rabinowitz. Now I'd like to introduce the Vice President and Director of Athletics here at Hofstra University, Jeffrey A. Hathaway. Thank you very much, Stephen. With those nice comments from the President, I hope my next contract is going to be a two-day contract. <laughs> Living on this day-to-day -day deal is pretty tough, but uh, hopefully we got over that, Stuart, right? Yes. Uh, first off, thank you. Thank you very much for being here today and welcome to the University Club. It's great to have you here. You know, something like this doesn't happen by one person or two or three people. It takes an awful lot of people to get us this point today to where we're introducing a quality person and a quality basketball coach. And I need to thank a few people, starting with President Rabinowitz, who has been fantastic through this process. Uh, over the past three weeks, he's given me every minute of time that I need it. He's uh, read my 5,000 text messages. I've read his 6,000 text messages back. Uh, he won the battle of the texting. Uh, he, he's met with me on numerous occasions and just has been uh, a partner throughout this entire process. And so for that, uh, Stuart, I thank you a great deal. Our Board of Trustees and the support that they have provided to our athletic program and continue to provide people like Marty Greenberg, uh, Joe Gregory, Arnie, uh, Arno Freed, uh, just wonderful people who have a passion for this university and have a passion for our, uh, for our athletic program. I've got to thank our current men's basketball staff. 
I've worked with these guys very, very closely over the past nine months, and I consider them friends, and I consider them consummate professionals. And I want to just thank uh, Wayne back there for all that you've done for this program. Steve is in the back. Kyle, our Director of Basketball Operations. I want to thank our grad assistants that are here, our managers that are here who are near and dear to my heart, as you all know, since I'm a former manager, uh, Clarice, who holds the whole ship together. But I really have to give an extra special thanks to Patrick Sellers. I went to Patrick shortly uh, after making a change, and I brought him in, and I said, Pat, I'm going to put you in a difficult situation. If you'll take it, I want you to be the interim head coach. I want you to keep us moving forward, keep us on track, challenge our players even more academically, athletically, from a basketball perspective, and uh, Patrick Sellers rose to the occasion, and I couldn't be more proud of him. So Patrick, wherever you are, please. <laughs> but most importantly, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we're all here because of students, and those of us in the athletic program are here because of student athletes. So I really want to thank these guys that I met with on the first day. My first meeting was with them, reminded them of what they needed to do over the next couple of weeks until we got a coach, reminded them that Patrick was in charge in the meantime, and every one of them has been fantastic and has stayed the course academically, has gone to work in the uh, weight room, gone to work on the basketball court, and again, I could not be prouder of our, of our returning players. Guys right there in the back, thank you all. The bottom line is, the bottom line is that the players and the coaches and the office staff have kept this program moving forward during the interim period here. And we all know the fact of the matter is, championships are won in the off season. I believe that firmly, I've been around enough championship teams, enough quality players, quality coaches to know the real work, the real work to get better is during, done during the off season. And those guys kept us on track and I want to thank you for that. People that I relied on, so many people helped me during this search. My very dear friend, former commissioner of the Big East, Mike Trangizi, uh, was wonderful throughout this process. A number of other basketball related people uh, that were really very special to me over the last three weeks. I got to give special thanks to our Pride Club president, Colonel Wojcik, back in the corner, a friend, a confidant. <laughs> Colonel, I didn't even ask him to applaud, and they did. <laughs> Colonel walked this whole walk with me, and Dave, I appreciate all your help and your confidence. Our Pride Club board of directors, uh, some of them are here, our Pride Club board uh, members, our donors, our season ticket holders, and most importantly, just all of Hofstra Nation. I want to thank all of you for that. This is really an exciting week in our men's basketball program. I think some of you know that the Hall of Fame dinner is this Saturday. We'll induct two teams and seven outstanding student athletes that represent all that Hofstra is about. The 1959-60 men's basketball team is being inducted this weekend into the Hofstra Hall of Fame. Best winning percentage of any basketball team that's played here. They have a Pulitzer Prize winner on that team, Stephen Dunn, who was recognized earlier this year uh, by our alumni association here as the alumnus of the year. And one of the seven individuals is Norman Richardson, who you all know was a great player, played on both the uh, 2000 and 2001 NCAA tournament teams. I went back and looked. He played 38 minutes in one game. He played uh, 39 minutes in the other game. In 2000, he scored 20 points, and another guy on that team scored 20 points, and he's with us today also. He's a Hall of Famer here at Hofstra. He was the leader of that 2000 team. He's a 10-year NBA pro, and he's a special person that means an awful lot to this university. My friend, Speedy Claxton. So why do I talk about the Hall of Fame dinner? It's clear and simple. They're the standard bearers. They came before us. They raised a bar on all of us. Everyone in this room, donor, faculty member, administrator, president, certainly the players. They raised the bar, they're the standard bearers, and this is where we're going. And that's why we're here today. We're here today to talk about how we're going to build and rebuild 
a championship culture in this program. In basketball, but also in academics, leadership, giving back, paying back to the community, championship culture in all that we do. And I've got to tell you, we have it here already in so many of our sports. I look around and I see Simon and I see Shannon and Seth. I see Bill Edwards and Larissa and what they've done in our softball program, Richie Nuttall. You know, this fall we played in three championships, won two of them, won the volleyball championship, 12 out of 13 CAA wrestling championships in a row. This is a darn good athletic program and one that I'm very, very proud to lead and to serve. That championship culture is going to come back into this program because we're going to excel at all we do. We're going to be the best. There's a reason we have a scoreboard, whether it's APR, points, whatever the case might be, graduation rates, we are going to excel at all we do in this program. And we're beginning a new journey today. We turn the page, we go to a new chapter. It's a new journey to restore that culture, 24-7, 365, like we have in so many of our other programs. And I want to tell you up front, this is a challenge. There's a lot of fun things that we're going to work through. The bottom line, this is a journey for the faint-hearted. Excuse me, this is a journey not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> no, no, not for the faint-hearted, I can promise you that. This is a journey not for the faint-hearted, but only for the lion-hearted. And that's what we're here to do today. We'll take a total team effort to get this done, and that team needs a leader. And that leader is our new head men's basketball coach, Joe Mahalik. Joe led his team to the regular season championship this year, took him to the NIT. He was the MAC Coach of the Year. This next award I'm particularly proud of because it's about the person. Skip Prosser was a great basketball coach at Wake Forest University, before that at Xavier. Skip went out on a run one day at lunch, came back, and unfortunately died in his office. Skip was the standard bearer for integrity among coaches in men's college basketball. So the Skip Prosser Integrity Award this past week at the Final Four was presented to Joe Mahalik by a very good mutual friend of ours, Mike Bray, the coach at Notre Dame, who was also a recipient of that award. And then also he was a finalist this year for the Hugh Durham Coach of the Year Award for being the outstanding coach. But he, all that aside, all that aside, I talked to hundreds of people over the last three weeks about basketball coaches. And the common denominator brought me back to a person, as the president said, that was on my initial short list, Joe Mahalik. And I heard from many of these people, and it might have been the thing that resonated most with me, that players work hard for him, players respect him, and players are proud to be part of his team. And given some of the things that we've seen recently and given some of the things that we've seen in past years, to know that the players play hard, respect, do the right thing, and that they want to be on his team really resonated with me. A lot of people have asked me during the process what I was looking for, where were we going with this position. It was very, 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 very easy for me. We needed a veteran I wanted a veteran coach. I wanted a head coach. A head coach that has coached a long time. I wanted a steady hand on the steering wheel. As we plot out our vision and we chart the way we're going to approach this as Joe and I began this weekend, I want a steady hand on that wheel that's leading us in the right direction. We're not looking here for a great team. I'm not one bit interested at all about a great team. And I can speak for the president as well. We're looking for a great program. We're looking for a program that's built on stability, durability, and sustainability. And with Joe, that all happens. And with that also comes a wonderful team that he brings from home. So it's my pleasure to introduce his sons, Joe, 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 thank you, Joe. <laughs> Joe is shy and reserved. Uh, Matt and Tony. One of these three is a track coach at George Mason. I won't point him out in case no. Uh, the other one is a college basketball coach in Scranton, and the third one is a teacher and basketball coach at Bishop O'Connell in Virginia. 
And then, of course, the, uh, the point guard. I got a feeling she probably is all five positions, to be honest. I think she's the backbone of the organization, the brains of the outfit, and, and certainly the prettiest one of them all. Uh, Joe's wife, Mary. Thank you for being with us, Mary. So hopefully we gave you a little flavor of what we've been doing the past three weeks and much more importantly where we want to go in future years. And at this time it's my pleasure to introduce our new men's basketball coach, Joe Mahalik. Well thank you very much and uh, it is a really exciting time. Um, only one little bit of bad news. Someone stole my wife's credit card, and uh, no, no, it's okay. Whoever stole it spends less than she does, so, <laughs> so it's okay. And I appreciate Jeff. Uh, <laughs> trust me, it didn't happen, but that would have been true. <laughs> um, it, it is really exciting to be here. I mean, all these words, you sit there and you listen to words, you listen to leadership and culture and excitement and, and so forth. and. Um, you know, when I got here yesterday on campus, I, I was able to visit with uh, President Brinovitz and, uh, and, and, and Mr. Hathaway. And, um, you know, first of all, I said, how, how do you impress a guy that, that just put a medical school together in, in, on their campus? I mean, it's hard to talk about throwing a ball through a hoop a couple of times when he started a medical school. But, you know, as I said to them, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's about leadership on campus. And here's two people that are as good a leaders as you can find, um, you know, and, and they've created a culture here. You know, people say, well, the culture is missing with basketball, but the culture isn't missing. The winning culture, the, the successful culture uh, is not missing here at Hofstra University. And it's because of our president and our director of athletics. Uh, I share with them one of my favorite quotes from, from, a, from the locker room, one of those locker room quotes. And it's from the New England Patriots locker room. I apologize, not the Jets. But uh, it says, we don't become you, you become us. And I think these two people have done that here at Hofstra University. They've, they've created a culture where you want to become them. And, and I, I basically said that, that, uh, that that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to become part of Hofstra University because it is a university of excellence. And that's what we're going to strive to do. So, um, you know, with that being said, I, uh, you know, we can't, get, can't wait to get going. It is, it is really, I said, exciting a couple of different times. You know, Mary and I came in this morning, we took the 545 from, uh, from, from Buffalo, and, and what came through campus, and, and Mary had never seen it before, so we were driving around a little bit, and, and she did, the windows were rolled down, and windows aren't rolled down too much in Buffalo right now, <laughs> but the, the, the windows were rolled down, and the birds were chirping, and it just, uh, it just seemed like a you know a new day and, and springtime and a new feeling and it was uh, you know it was hard for either one of us to get the smile off our face so you know we can't wait to get going and, and, and be a part of this. Um, I met so many wonderful people yesterday. You know you think about components. You know it's that time of the year we all know this. It's the coaching carousel and us coaches. You know the job opens up and a coach says, Hey, is that a good job? Is that a good job? And my answer is, Well, who's the AD and who's the president? That's my answer. Because if it's check, check, then, then it's a good job. But, um, you know, uh, and that's why this is such a, such a great job. But it's that time of the year when people are saying those kinds of things, and, and you're looking for opportunities. And, you know, speaking for myself, I, I, I have to be honest with you, I wasn't looking uh, so much to leave. As I would tell when I recruited players up in Niagara, I would say to them, I would never leave here unless it was for a really special place unless it was for something that was really a new challenge, a new chance to do something, a new beginning, a new life. And that's, uh, and that's what we're going to get right here. So, you know, again, I keep saying it. I, I can't wait to get going with that. Uh, but I started saying I met so many wonderful people yesterday. And that's the biggest component of all. You could have a great president, as we do. You could have a great athletic director, as we do. But yesterday, with each meeting that I went through, it was like the people just got, kept getting better and better and better. And it culminated today when I met the players. It culminated today when I met the players. You know, I, I said to Jeff afterwards, I said, what a good bunch of guys. What a, what a bunch of total package guys. And I had never met those guys before. It's the first time we actually talked. And we talked, we talked about the kind of player. You know, somebody, through yesterday, somebody said, what, do you, what, do you, what kind of player do you recruit? What are you looking for when you recruit? And I always say, I look, you look for two sets of three. 
Good player, good student, good person. Obviously, you got to be a good player. I mean, this is the highest level. Um, good student, you know, people that really care, want to get the degree, understand it's way more important than anything we do on the field or on the court, and then most importantly, good person. And I think that could be self-explanatory too. I think we all know what that means. And the other set of three is love the game. I mean, love the game. If you're not playing it, you, you wish you were playing it, you're com arguing about Kobe Bryant or LeBron James, you're talking about the dunk you saw last night on, on ESPN. I mean, love the game. Hate to lose. Uh, you know, you lose, you check it back up. Let's play again. Uh, and then you work hard. And then that's what I was with today. Those guys in that, in that room. That's what I was with today. Uh, we made it, we made it, we, we decided we weren't going to talk about problems. We decided we weren't going to do that. You know, there's, Lou Holtz has, has a saying about problems. Don't ever tell anybody about your problems. Because half the people don't care. And the other half are glad you have them. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to tell about any problems. We're going to, we're just going to start, it's true, I think. We're going to start, uh, we're just going to start doing things uh, that we can to, to be the best possible team that we can be. Uh, so uh, it was, it was, uh, it was really exciting to be with those guys and, and to meet the people that I met here. I mean, when you, when you go into a home and you talk to a recruit, you sell the university, you sell the, the academic status, the academic excellence, but more than anything else, you sell the people. And I, you know, going back to what I first said, you don't become us, we become, you, we don't become you, you become us. I'm anxious to become us and, uh, and looking forward to it. So, um, and it's exciting to get Speedy Claxton back here. I just, you know, I don't know if the compliance person, we're trying to get a couple more years out of him to, to play a little bit more, but it means a lot to have you back here. I think it, I think it's just a sign of, uh, you know, you, Speedy, you know, you, you represent greatness. You represent greatness. I mean, it's it's what sports and athletics is. <clears throat> it's the greatest opportunity to, for people to achieve or witness human excellence, and that's what you are. And so, for you to be here, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to the players. And I know it means a lot to the university. But we see you, and that's what we want to be. We want to take this back to where you were and what you did for us. Okay. So thanks for being. We can clap for him again, can't we? Players never, you know, my applause, right? It never gets old. It never gets old. So, so we can't wait to get going. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna try to hit the hit the ground run. We know what we got to do. Um, you know, it is it is uh, uh, the clock's ticking. We got to get going right away. Um, we got a plan together. Um, and uh, you know, it, 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 again, it's great to be here. I'm so appreciative of this opportunity. I, I can't thank President Rabinowitz enough, Jeff Hathaway enough, all of you enough. For, for having me, uh, you know, I will do everything I can to to get this program back to where it can be, it should be, and it once was. So, thank you very much. And uh, I didn't talk as long as you, but I, you know, but I, I appreciate being. Thank, thank you. you.